See, so it just, I, what confuses me about what Anton just said a little bit was he, he said, like with the scare straight programs, they do this to prevent a certain behavior. Got you. My question is. Why are we shaming the people that already did the bad? The same bad. reason why they force an alcoholic to acknowledge the fact that they're an alcoholic in order to get them to convince them to no longer continue to do the thing that they're not supposed to do. It's like for themselves, though. But but in that order for somebody to be bad. but in order for somebody to take accountability for something, they have to admit that they're wrong. And we don't think that it's wrong for women to have children out of wedlock. We don't think that anymore. Well, we also don't think it's wrong for men to walk away from their children when they have them. No, everybody knows that that's wrong. There, there, there needs to be a lot of. And no, 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 no. Everybody knows that that's wrong. And that's why men by default are held accountable. Listen, let me tell yeah, you something. Right. Come on. This is, this is a fact. If you don't pay child support, you go to jail. Out of there. You go oh. to jail. And ain't no negotiating, ain't no shaming, ain't no none of that. Women have not been going to jail because they haven't been paying child support. Well, just look at the default of what single mom is. The minute that we say single mom, the assumption is that the father is not there. Like single mom does not mean the dad's not there. So by default, the man is already, you know, shamed just by default. Listen, I'll give you an example. The player dude. His wife was getting fucked by the whole neighborhood. And he went and put himself on child support. Society tells you that you as a man have to be responsible, even though he said that three of them fucking kids probably not even his. He went and put himself on child support because he know by default what the fucking consequences is going to be as a result of it. But see, you don't see women doing that. I have never in my life heard of a woman where the man get the kids somehow, some way, and then the woman go and put themselves on child support. That does not happen. It never happens. I don't know where we missing this at. And typically when the men have the children, they usually don't go after the woman for child support. Hold on. I'll, give you, an, I'll, give, you, I'll give you a second one. Right at, You know what y'all feel like? Eh, it happened. But player pro, he going to be under dumps. Ardilla, yeah, we know. You know what they said? <laughs> they went on and they moved on to another dude because they believe that their decisions is not going to hold them back from what it is that they really want to do in life. They don't believe that it's any real consequences because they know that it's going to be another sucker to come back and it's going to be a stepbaby daddy to then go and, and pick up the pieces of what it is that somebody else left. Ardilla married a single baby mama. Mm. Meanwhile, you know what y'all said? You know what you said, Jazz? You don't even believe that people that have children should be talking to people that don't have children. Especially, you said that you don't think that women, that women that don't have kids should be talking to men that have kids. I thought they were Molly. No, I mean, I, I don't think it's no, ideal. I have said that. Molly yeah, said no. that. I, ideally, no. If I don't have kids, I don't want if unless his kids are older and whatever. I no, I don't recommend. But dating we don't kids. advocate for that. But you know what we do advocate for, and we shame men that don't date women that have children. That is that is that is they will call you gay if true. you are objecting to, to talking to a woman, a single woman, a single woman well, with children. Well, here's the thing. I just think that. The, these these are all like subjective opinions. There are plenty of people who have found love and healthy relationships by. You know what I'm saying? I'm you just saying you. I'm just saying that there have been there. There you can't just frame it like every single baby mother is it's doomed out. Here, is doomed out here and could never have a family anymore. I that's, don't see you saying that same thing cool. about men. You say you say <laughs> why don't we hold more men accountable? How come we not doing this? You don't say, oh, there's plenty of men that go out and find love. You don't say that they when it comes do. to There are plenty of single dads out here. Yes, you said it now. But you ain't been saying yeah. that this whole time. Well, because we were talking about single mothers. We were talking about single mothers. The, the title yeah. says single mothers. Is it, is it fair to say? Because <laughs> there we are say plenty of men who can get women who have kids. Let, 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 me, let me throw you some rope. You say that we should hold both accountable, right? Yes, when it comes to unwanted pregnancies, absolutely. 
We agree on that. Is it fair to say that it's disproportionately mostly men held accountable, but women are not as much as men? I don't know from my honestly, honestly <laughs> and I'm being honest, so please don't second my response. Honestly, I only see hit pieces on single mothers and how they're bad. I do not see hear or hear hit pieces on single dads or men uh, that have I kids. I don't. I see the dragging of single women, which means they're the ones that's being shamed. They're the ones that's being held accountable. But just like 2K said earlier, it rolled off off his tongue. When the next man you get pregnant and he walks away from you, it's so normal, like walking for men, that there's no reason to hold accountable because it's like, oh, that nigga gonna leave anyway. So while, 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 while the law, the law, and the it's system, insane. the court systems may hold you accountable in a certain way, sure. But when it comes to the shame of it all, it's always for the, the single mother and, and holding her accountable. And why yeah, you, do, you do realize that I've seen women getting happy Father's Day just this past oh, year. I don't agree with that. I think that's fucked up. I, it I doesn't hate matter that. if you agree with it or not. Society, and, and it's another example we should stop of that. the fact that we continue to celebrate women that are single mothers. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. I, I think fathers. Yeah. Should so, Jazz, yeah. just quick question, Jazz. How, how would you feel if we was in a store and I put a uh, and you got a basket, okay? And I just put a TV in your basket. How would I feel? Yeah. Confused. You'll be confused, right? Yeah. But would you take that TV out the basket? I would probably you leave see? you with that basket and get another one. Okay, well, the, damn, you just fucked my whole example. Uh huh. Yeah, fuck. Okay, you got. But see, y'all gotta. Look at <laughs> what? Hey, I was gonna get you with that one too, but you, <laughs> that would have left me with the baby. Like the basket, I, the baby, the, the TV I put. Don't in worry about it. Okay, we was a baby. We get there. What else? How it was supposed to go was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you got me. I, hey, you got me. Yeah, you Don't did. worry about it, big dog. <laughs> Me, like I like I'll give you an example, right? <laughs> Molly is the new face, right? I know y'all was expecting for me to send a ticket. Get the plane to you, Ed. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. All right. But see, I'm looking at player down here, right? And I know that player player right here. Mm -mm. <laughs> he'll crash out. He will mm -hmm. crash out. He will crash out for him a Molly all day long. What happened to player player? He oh god damn. Oh, there he is. There he is. He'll crash out for a Molly. I don't think so. Long. I don't I don't think so. I Once upon a time, yes. Today, no. Today. I'm not the same guy I used to be. Yeah, not yeah. at all. At wow. the point you are. Not at, at all. Point, yeah. You still talking to your baby mama. You still hitting your baby mama. It's still in baby mama. I said he's the last time I, it was a year and a half ago. That that's fresh. Listen, listen, big dog. Listen. You are still you doubling would, back. You, you still would have back. no questions. <laughs> I would what? No. Nah. You wouldn't ask no questions. Mm -mm. You would ask questions. Ask uh, ask questions about what? What was you, what was you saying now? <laughs> say say that again. <laughs> listen, I think I will listen. The fact of the matter is, mm -hmm. there are certain people in this world that is always going to get second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seven chances, no matter what it is that they are. Don't even matter what the background is. I don't even want to know her personal situation. I would never even ask her personal situation. But my point is, is that guys are always, and she know it. She, if you ask her right now, I guarantee you, she knows that it's guys that's gonna crash out for. Her. Am I off, Molly? Molly, if you see a sucker, lick it. Get, get that money, girl. No, I think, honestly, I think <laughs> the majority of me are simps, whether they want to admit it or not, just because we see the way the culture is going. We see how many step daddies there are versus the actual... <sighs> Hold on, sorry. Versus the actual fathers in the home. So I think way more men are simps that, than they would like to admit. And that's, I mean, I don't want to say that's okay, but it is what it is. A lot of men will try to front for each other, but I know 
not saying me necessarily, but a lot of men for sure. Everybody behind closed doors, know that that's true. Yeah, behind closed doors, a lot of men will be typing something in the chat, like f simps. But behind closed doors, Q no, Jazz no, Molly no, Carrie no, because when Carrie put her hair down, she get a whole nother day. Right now, she got the whole Duck Dynasty hat going on right now, and it's cool. All of the women know, y'all all know, and it's not even a secret. It's not even a secret. It's men out here that'll marry a woman with ten kids. Mm -hmm. Eight, nine baby daddies. It, it's they out here. <clears throat> Women know that they're out here. That's why they don't care. Well, Men are is important know. because somebody gonna come pick up the slack from the deadbeat. You know. Yep. What, what is that. it that we know for sure, Anton? What is it? That y'all all y'all can't really be held accountable because you always got another chance to do what it is that you want to do. Quiet. You, you can't hold somebody accountable that already know that they're going to get away with what, whatever it is that they're going to do. Let's say let's say you go out and you go and do whatever you want. Oh, okay, I'm a, I, I got pregnant by mistake. I slipped and fell on the dick and I let him nut at me. Okay, cool. So you got it. You get a kid. And you can't hold that person accountable because they already got another dude waiting in the wings in order to become a step crash dummy. I just think you can't you can't hold somebody accountable that you can't really punish or you can't take anything away from them or you can't prevent them from doing something that they was previously doing. It doesn't work. And so by default, you will never be able to equally spread accountability on men and women. And that's why that argument falls flat on its face. It, it will never, ever really resonate because it does not work. You can't hold women accountable just, in the same way that you hold men accountable. 